This is an amazing day that we have here. We are currently situated in Lugano. I am about 1.5 something kilometers away from uh, Rastislav and Lars. I'm about 1.2, 1.3 kilometers. I could speak under correction, but that's around about the distance that I'm uh, from Chris. Uh, and Chris is about 800 meters away from, um, from Lars as well, sitting on a beach. And we all have our Luna devices running and we're busy having a meeting on Ting. But what differentiates this call today and this use case is actually what we've done is, is we're proving last mile reach. And what better way to prove last mile reach than using a platform that is in the internet. And as you can see next to Rastislav today, we're actually very humbled and it is a fantastic uh, a time for us to actually make a type of an announcement that we are currently in discussions with the Nemesis to, uh, be, to be in a partnership of providing services to each other and uh, integrating the core ecosystem into the Nemesis itself. So this is a very, very exciting uh, a day for us and an exciting time for us having such an amazing platform like the Nemesis with I would say probably the leading metaverse open world uh, basically in the world so um, maybe I'd like to ask Alexandro if you could one of the co-founders if you could maybe perhaps uh, do a little introduction for us about the Nemesis platform Okay, so we work to, in order to create experiences. This is the, the mantra of the uh, of, the, uh, of our metaverse, and this is the sense of the uh, real um, ecosystem of a metaverse. Uh, it's not just uh, uh, a virtual world where you you can uh, work through through an avatar, but uh, it's a place where you have to to create. You can have uh, experiences in real life with augmented reality and in virtual life with uh, um, virtual reality. This is the the the, the essential of uh, the metaverse. In, uh, in our case, Met Nemesis is a metaverse uh, ready to use uh, uh, from different type of platform. We we are ready on uh, WebGL um, and uh, uh, on uh, mobile with iOS and Android application native. Um, and uh, the, the idea is create, uh, um, as I mentioned. Um, experience in uh, real and virtual life uh, in order to create a new um, contest of uh, um, social um, network uh, uh, with uh, the experience and uh, uh, where the, 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 the center of the experience uh, are brand and user. This is the, the idea at the, at the base. Thank you so much. Then let's uh, share something about the platform. Let's share the screen. Okay. Here you see uh, the Nemesis Metaverse. Uh, as Alessandro was saying, there are many Metaverse and that is the Metaverse of uh, a book that I've wrote. And uh, we decided to create different Metaverse which show the different chapter of the book. So in this case is the, when we arrive at the Metaverse, you see we find a, 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 a someone who will explain us what, us what we have to do now in the Metaverse. And as you can see, we are inside uh, a space station and uh, our guide will tell us what we need to do for every single metaverse. And the, the, the experience that we have right now here is that you have to, to go inside the different sector of, of, of the metaverse. Okay, I'm not really a gamer, so please excuse me if I'm not working very fast. Um, and you, you have to explore it and you have to find um, a piece of equipment. Now, since I have already done it, I know where I have to go, so I will go it quite pretty fast. Give me a second. And let's show you. I go here and here we have a person, uh, 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 someone who will ex explain me that in order to get this piece of equipment I have to show them that I'm ready to get it so I have to answer some questions so you, here you see the experience that Alessandro was discussing so I receive the question so I have to reply this question
And once I repair correctly, you see I get the piece of equipment that I need. And voila, I get it, congrats. Now I did the first part of the, of, of, uh, the experience inside the metaverse. And now I hide back to the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the main station where I can go to another sector where I will have another uh, alien race uh, and where I have to go, uh, to go through this, um, this, uh, this experience. And everything is based on the book, so what I'm doing here is really uh, the story of the book, where we have the main uh, character that has to... Okay, I missed it, I missed the, uh, the exit. Uh, where the main character, which has to um, convince the different alien forms uh, to uh, work uh, together. Okay, wait, I have, okay, I, I, I arrive here now. Voila, that's an example of uh, what is the metaverse, what is Nemesis, and uh, I think it was pretty exciting to share it because we are not on the internet here, we are on Luna Mesh, and I think this is the first time that we are sharing metaverse on uh, Luna Mesh outside the internet. Yes, thank you so much, Lars. Uh, it's it very exciting because we are uh, not using internet, as you said, and this is uh, using the small IoT devices here in Lugano, and we are connecting in the various places, in the distances. One place is uh, there on the left-hand side of the lake in the beach, and some other places is in the like uh, beach area on the right and side. Then, okay, you can just continue. Yes, so uh, just to add on to your side, basically what's happening is, is we created a mesh network here inside of Lugano. I would say this is probably a circumference of around about uh, five kilometers or radius of five kilometers. The beautiful part about it is, is that everything is peer-to-peer -peer borderless, serverless, unintercepted. It is fully streaming without any internet whatsoever where the Ting platform is running. But what we then did is, is we opened up the port to the internet so that you could access within this internal network, that you could access the internet and the rest of the network that is uh, existing as the internet. This is also how we would connect clusters and provide last mile reach to ISPs to be able to further their reach with connectivity itself. This is how amazing the Luna Mesh can actually work and proving it with a data intensive platform like the Nemesis, which is a third world, or oh, not a third world, a, sorry, a, um, a, a virtual world, a metaverse. It is absolutely phenomenal to be able to stream that in the Ting platform over the Luna Mesh, and it shows you how strong this connectivity actually is. It is much better than any of the other mesh networks which are out there to being able to do video, sound, screen share, data transmittance, all these types of things. So I really want to thank uh, Alexandro and Lars specifically for participating in this um, meeting. It was absolutely fantastic to have you guys here and I'm really looking forward to taking the next steps to uh, our discussion of bringing the two platforms together. Thank you very much for your participation, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. -bye. Bye.